Hello, uh, I'm Shagni Guhaduri. I'm a young fountain pen lover and a fountain pen enthusiast. Currently, I am studying in the 12th standard. I got introduced into this hobby back in when I was studying in the 8th standard, probably due to the influence of my parents who had helped me to grow an interest in reading books, rather I would say had made me a bibliophile. So the thing started when I started reading Harry Potter series by G.K. Rowling. So in the Harry Potter series, it is basically about a boy named Harry Potter as we all know who discovers that he has magical powers and then goes on to study at the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry to study magic. In the school, the students, unlike the modern era, they are required to write with quill pens by dipping them into the ink and write on parchment paper. So that process was very beautifully described by Mrs. J.K. Rowling. So as a result, due to reading this, I got influenced in the fountain pen hobby. I would like to cite the example of my parents who had helped me most in this hobby. Um, the most I have been helped by my mother who discovered uh, that or how a fountain pen meat goes like and uh, also contacted the people who are involved in the fountain pen industry. And as a result, I began my foray into the world of fountain pens. She also brought me my first fountain pen which was a Camlin Trinity. It's an Indian fountain pen manufactured by Kokuyo Camlin. So in this hobby I I would like to say that I love all my fountain pens equally. They are like my children. I love them all equally. But if I am uh, often I am asked that what is your most favorite fountain pen. So there are recent there are three fountain pens that have won my heart. First is this this is an Indian made fountain pen. It's by Canwright. Can, it's a Canwright heritage. So the most attractive thing about this uh, thing about this fountain pen is it's that it is partially inspired by some Aurora fountain pen model. It also has a stub medium nib. This pen, the Canwright pens, one thing about I would like to say that they offer a plethora of nib ranges in, in a very affordable price range. Another th thing is that it has a piston filler which uh, again this these all are offered at a very minimal price point and also its utility. It is a very smooth writer and a very dependable writer. So I can carry it literally anywhere and I have to never worry that whether it will fail me or not. It is a very reliable pen. The second pen I would like to show is this, the Schaefer Imperial. This is a very famous fountain pen in the fountain pen industry. And most of the seasoned collectors and enthusiasts probably has this fountain pen or has heard of it. Even some have tried it. But this is a very vintage model. This was manufactured back in the 1970s or probably the 1960s or 70s. So back in the 1970s and 60s, this pen attracted many crowds because unlike the modern times, we all we have very formulaic models which has which has lacked innovation. Present models only from Schaefer, they are not that attractive and though they have utility, but somewhere it, there seems to be lacking the touch that is required in a fountain pen. So I'd like to show this nib. This, the if you see the nib closely, it doesn't feel that like that. It's a very old model. It's this some thing. This is a very futuristic looking nib. And, and so and also, it's not that it look attra looks attract me very much. It's a very smooth writer and it has endured many hassles during my using it. So as a result, I would say that it's a very robust pen and a very nice vintage pen. I would. I definitely advise everyone to at least try this fountain pen once in their lifetime. Third fountain pen is a standard Pilot model. So Pilot as we know is a Japanese pen company who manufactures very famous fountain pens with top of the quality nibs and at all price points they can offer pens which can even range from the beginner to a fountain pen user who is in the middle of the hobby and to a seasoned collector who is very experienced in a fountain pen hobby. So I would say that Pilot is a very renowned brand in the fountain pen world. And this particular pen, it has, I would like to say that it's, I got it at a very minimal price point. And this has a, a very smooth nib, um, a very retro look and a very reliable filling system and never skips and wrote straight out of the box. So there, I had to make it a little bit wet but that can be accepted as it's a Japanese nib. They 
the Japanese nibs are usually towards a very fine set, so it is acceptable that if it's dry, it was dry for my taste, not from not I cannot confirm whether it is dry for other individuals. But Kakuno is a very nice fountain pen. In the fountain pen industry, I am a very young person, so it is natural that I have various impositions in my budget and also uh, yes, I have impositions in my budget to buy, buy within a limit and buy within a range, both in the fountain, but when you are writing with the fountain pen, the essential thing is its ink of course. So a fountain pen requires ink, it is a, it's a drink for a fountain pen, it is the like water keeps human beings alive. The ink keeps the fountain pen alive. So, I am on a very fixed budget. So, I would like to show my favorite inks. These are my favorite inks. So, this is the Sulekha fountain pen ink. It's a turquoise ink. So, I got it at a very affordable price point. Sulekha is a very experienced pen maker in the fountain pen industry. So, as a pen and ink maker, rather, I would say, in the fountain pen industry. So, I like to say that this is a very now, very affordable fountain pen ink, it can give you the best flow ever and also it is saturated. So as a result, you don't have to worry whether you are writing on cheap printer paper or any fountain pen friendly paper. This ink always is reliable and will remain reliable forever. Second fountain pen ink, Anna, again it's from India. It's a Brill ink company. Brill is another old fountain ink maker in India. Brill inks were very popular back in the days, where, back in the heydays, where that's when the company started. Brill, Brill inks also have a reputation that they're royal blue, especially have a very uniform flow, has a very smooth flow, and never. And so there is also a saying that when you are writing with a Brill ink, the ink, whether your pen has been used or whether you have not washed it or not, it it cleans the pen while the while it, it has been while the pen has been filled with the ink. So I would say that this is also a very nice ink and if you can get one, get it and possibly keep it. So in the fountain pen hobby where I have been using fountain pens for a very long time, I would like to say that it's a very, yes, I am using fountain pens for a very long time. So in the fountain pen industry, I would like to say that India has a very rich history of fountain pens and inks. So the basic now, the fountain, Indian fountain pens have come into the limelight. They have been attracting quite a little bit of attention, but I would like to say that Indian fountain pens are quite lacking in their innovation and their utility in comparison to international fountain pen brands. Providing an example, this is a Pilot Kakuno fountain pen. It's a very low priced fountain pen. As you can see that it has not got any clip, but there's a purpose for it. It's marketed towards young children who are into who or uh, into the transition from pencil to pen so in japan this pen is quite popular for to introduce kids into the fountain pen hobby that's why the some kids in japan do use fountain pens in the school industry that's what is required in the, the hobby that not in the hobby but for the world because fountain pens are in comparison to gel pens and ball pens are very environment friendly so coming back to the my topic the Indian fountain pen, uh, barring a few good pen makers, the pens that even use their own stock nibs, factory made stock nibs, the own Indian pen companies, the problem is that they have serious quality control issues, which is not expected from a pen, which are from which is not expected from a pen which is so intricately designed with an ebonite or an acrylic body. We actually expect that the nib, the heart of the fountain pen, to function well, to cater to the user's needs. In comparison to the inter uh, international fountain pens, may, there are many now acclaimed fountain pen industries in India also. I won't take names. They are even import. They are not even using their own nibs. They are importing nibs from Germany and China rather than rather using the Canrite nibs. Canrite is a brand based in India who in Kanpur. 
the manufacture very good nibs and very smooth nibs, very reliable, very efficient nibs in comparison to which can even compete with international nib companies like Yovo, Schmidt, etc. So I'd say that Indian fountain pens have a lot have need to be improved upon a lot in a lot of areas. The Indian fountain pen industry needs to improve in a lot of areas. And I can surely say that the, we have a very nice potential in the industry. So if this is cultivated upon, I would definitely say that this can take us to a new height at an international level where we could also display our fountain pens proudly. So to all the fellow fountain pen enthusiasts, all the young enthusiasts who are new in this hobby like me, I'd like to say that do not buy fountain pens impulsively. You decide that what fountain pen will you buy when you are seeing a fountain pen, when you are testing a pen, decide that whether this will cater to your need. Don't uh, only buy it for the brand name. There are also a lot of fountain pen brands in the market which have not yet garnered the attention of the of the big company of the international sphere I like to say that you buy a fountain pen for its utility not for its brand name not for its look for its utility buy it for your utility and do not be on a uh, impulsive buy do not keep on buying fountain pens keep it on a manageable limit and also avoid the online buying sites barring a few like amazon flipkart avoid the most organized sites because they do not give you, they do not, we do not know whether they are reliable or not. Try to buy it from a shop, for a, from an authorized dealer physically and test it. Test the fountain pens and see if they cater to your needs and desire, needs or not. Then, and if you like the fountain pen, you should definitely buy it. So, in uh, the years of using fountain pens extensively, um, my friends do not, my aso close associates, barring a few, know that I am inclined towards writing with fountain pens, ink based, ink, sorry, uh, writing with fountain pens. I'd like to say that one of my friends, who he is a very close friend, has recently, I am um, proudly saying this, has recently turned to using fountain pens over gel pens and ballpoint pens. As you can see, the fountain pens are a very environmental friendly alternative in comparison to a roller ball pens or the gel pens or the ballpoint pens. So, he has uh, once what happened, I was writing with a click fountain pen in my school. So he took a liking to that pen. He wanted to see it. He wanted to write with it. Surprisingly, he wrote it wrote with quite efficient. Wrote it with, with the fountain pen quite efficiently, and did not even try to put very much pressure while writing like you do on a ballpoint pen. So I can proudly say that he is now using fountain pens on a full time basis, and I have converted him from a gel pen ballpoint user to a fountain pen user but not all of my friends have been inclined in this hobby they are yeah they appreciate me for it but they have not taken much interest okay that's uh, not an issue i can uh, definitely say that there's a sea change in the fountain pen industry right now because more many more young enthusiasts are joining in the fountain pen industry ho in hobby and taking up in, uh, as a taking up fountain pens as a means to express their thoughts, be more articulate, and a fountain pen has a very uh, good psychological benefits because they writing with the fountain pen have been found in many studies. Um, they it has psychosomatic improvements in your body and your mental health. So, and also I have in the in these years of using fountain pens, I have made associations associations with quite a few experienced people in this industry and I would definitely say that it is a very enriching experience.